Hello friends, welcome to my latest RPS series notebooks. In this series, we will write snippets of Python code scripts with the help of ChatGPT to automate a small daily routine task. This tutorial series does not focus on using ChatGPT for everything, instead it is focused to deliver a simple automation Python scripts and later on we are going to put it all together to deliver a complete RPA project. You will find link to the entire source code in the video description below. So let's get started. Let's head out to our RPA directory at GitHub. If you are looking to split CSV image or big video files by equal size, you will find the link to other notebook here. In this video, we are going to write code to split a big CSV file by certain number of rows and then combine it back. Now to do that, we will need the pandas package. So we are going to head out to our terminal window, browse to the RPA directory and activate our RPA virtual environment and then we are going to install pip install pandas. So let's do cd into RPA and then we are going to activate our virtual environment. The scripts, activate. Let's do pip install pandas and after that we are going to spin a Jupyter lab session. As you can see in this notebook, our strategy is to first read the CSV file we want to split. We are going to note down stats for before and after comparison. Then we are going to split the file and afterwards we will combine it back and then verify before and after results to verify data integrity. Now here in this code, here in this notebook, you will also find code generated by ChatGPT. And if you go to ChatGPT and query by typing write code to split a big file, ChatGPT will generate this type of code. And if you exactly copy paste this code, it works just fine. However, instead of copying pasting, we are going to write this line by line so that we can understand concept as well. So let's open a new Jupyter notebook here. Let's import OS package here. So import OS and then we are going to list the directory. So os.list directory, it will display the content of your current working directory here. Let's execute this, which is a lot. Uh, because my sample data.csv file is inside the sample data folder. So now let's give the path to that directory here. As you can see, the sample data.csv is the file I'm interested in. Now let's go read this sample data.csv into a data frame. So import pandas as pd and I'm going to create a data frame df before pd.readcsv and let's give the path to this sample data.csv file here. All right. So now let's go display first five or ten rows just to take a look at that, take a look at the sneak peek uh, what the data looks like. So as you can see, the data is in a tabular format and the standard like fields, deposit amount, rate of interest, total, etc. All right, so now let's go query. Um, we want to know more about this data size. So this df before the describe. Now if you don't describe, it will tell you all the statistics of the df before. So it will display the statistics on only those items where which are non-string. So that means which, which, are, which, which holds a numerical value. All right. So let's go pick one field here and the whole reason we are doing it so that we can capture the statistics for before and after comparison. So let's go focus on one field called total and describe the total field. So here, as you can see, there are approximately 1 million rows and you have the mean standard, um, you know, variances on those kind of data. The only reason, again, we are doing it so that we are capturing the before statistics so that we have something to compare against. Now let's go split this file. All right, so I'm going to say import pandas as pd and I'm going to again reread the same CSV file into another data frame here. Now, now we know because we have 1 million rows in our original CSV file. So how do you want to split it? So uh, you have to do this kind of generic math in your head. Now roughly I want to create 10 different files of it. So in that case, I'm going to define a chunk size. So chunk size is the equal number of the rows uh, as you are expect to see in individual files. So for example, in this case, we have 1 million rows. So it's a good idea to keep 100,000 rows in each file. All right. So now um, number of chunks will be, uh, that's where how you are equally dividing that entire file into. So I'm going to take the length of the DF, which is 1 million and divide it by chunk size, which is 100,000. So roughly it will create 10 different files here. And let's go do it plus one. So because you know, pandas indexes starts with zero. All right, so now it becomes very simple. All we need to do, create a new um, for loop and inside that for loop, what we are going to do, we are going to take, we are going to read one chunk at a time. So that means we are reading from zero to 100,000, 100,001 to 200,000. And that's how we are going to split that DF, that data frame. And we are going to split um, 
first 100,000 rows, uh, you know, followed by 100,000 rows at a time, and there we are going to store those into the chunks. All right. So as you can see, it's a very simple for loops. Uh, you just go through the code, and it's, it's very intuitional code. You will understand it. Now, once I run this uh, chunks, so what is going to do is going to create the chunks of 100,000 rows at a time. Then all you need to do you create another for loop and you take these chunks and you are going to write those to csv file so for i in for i comma chunk in enumerate chunks so all you need to do um, you take those chunks and do the pd dot uh, to uh, to csv okay and inside the to csv all you need to do here you need to be because you know each file will have indi individual names so output file and you just pass the um, the variable uh, so that it can uh, generate the 10 different files or 11 different files depending on the chunk size all right so now let's go run this and if once you run this i'm expecting to see at least 10 9 or 10 uh, output files here all right so let's run this uh, depending on the file size depending on the number of the rows you have in file it may take few minutes in my case as you can see it's pretty fast so now what i expect to see if i go and list the directory content of the sample data folder again I expect to see some new files. As you can see, there are 10 different files here, 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to 10. All right. So that's how you split the files. Now, how do we know that these are correct files or not? So what we are going to do, we are going to combine these files back again, and then we are going to verify the data quality. So this is the whole reason we created the DF before data frame so that we can compare our data results into. Now, combining is very sim simple. Now, we already have the chunks. So each chunks has the 100,000, roughly 100,000 rows in each chunk. So all we need to do, we need to read those chunks back and create a combined data frame. And then what we are going to do, we are going to take this combined data frame and push it to a CSV. So pd.concat, and we are just passing the chunks inside that. And now let's go create another for loop. Uh, sorry, we don't even need for loop here. Call combined data frame, and all you need to do, take those chunks, take this combined data frame, and then push it to a .tsc file. Now let's go run this again. Again, depending on the file size and the number of rows, it may take a few, few seconds. All right, now let's read the content here. And again, this time I want to see a file, say combined output.csv. All right, so as you can see, we took the original file, we split it in 10 different parts and we combine it back. Now let's uh, verify the data results here. So if you recall, we created you know, the df before. Similarly, let's go copy paste this. And I'm going to, instead of df before, I'm going to call it a df after. And uh, the only reason I'm putting them side by side so that I can compare the results easily with each other. Okay, so df before, df after, df after, and let's go change the file name here. All right. So if I run this, so obviously it should it should be identical. All right. So let's go copy paste this one more time, and let's call it df after. So in originally, we had 100,000 rows, approximately 123K, um, and the mean value was there. So obviously, I am expecting to see the same results here. As you can see, the result matches exa exactly. Yeah. So this is how you split the you know rows by CSV. If you have any question, please feel free to drop a comment, and I'll be happy to answer that. Thank you very much.